Hello Sagittarius, doing a different reading today with my top decks. I'm sure you guys remember them. And last time, this is going to be your Venus Retrograde reading for October to November of this current year, right? Right. So like, I'm doing personal reading still, you know, if you want to get one, hit me up with my email in the description box below as usual. And I am Frego and I'm so excited. Oh, failure. Hopefully that's not for me. Is that for me? Okay. It's not for me. Uh, maybe you're dealing with the failure. Oh, that's, uh, sorry. I'm a paranoid because of the last time. But never mind that. So anyway, yeah. We'll be doing a different reading for y'all. I am Prego. Probably having a Gemini. Because Rick Getty keeps telling me fucking Gemini. And it's like, ugh. I don't want a Gemini. <laughs> I would have been fine with the Cancer. I don't know how it would have worked with the Gemini. But whatever. Anyway, I'll be happy with either or. That's the important thing. Hey. Might interrupt my reading time, but that's okay. Because, like, I'll get a, like, six weeks break from work. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> I would probably want to. But, it'd be nice. Okay, so, let's start with yours, Sagittarius. We got, ah, a lot of interference mentally, someone not being open with their emotions, and probably be manipulative, and someone just staying the fuck where they are. <laughs> oh, dear goodness, like, this could be you, or a Sagittarius, or a Leo, or an Aries. This could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer type. Or someone could be emulating each other's energies like that. But, like, there's a lot of mental irritation, like, someone you can't get out of it. Like, they're stuck where they are. Which kind of relates more to this one. And this person seems like it, too, a little bit, right? Oh, please stay. Yeah, there you go. On this side, we have someone being happy. <laughs> Someone's in their happy place. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And over on this side, we have da da someone being victorious and having people celebrate with them. Victory. Then on this side, we have someone sneaking the hell away. <laughs> wow. I feel like I just did this with Scorpio. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just mixing up readings somewhere. And on this side, we have someone hanging on at the crossroads a lot longer than what they should be like that martyrdom complex right that whole like i'm not letting it go kind of thing on this side we have the stars possibly an aquarius someone possibly healing we're doing some thievery try to switch something out and replace it with something else you know that kind of thing and then on this side we have Princess or Page of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries, traveling with some news, traveling with some endeavor, like, maybe travels, maybe, like, some good news is coming your way. She's going out there, setting forth her energy. Huh. Someone sneaking away to heal themselves or sneaking away to an Aquarius? Like, did somebody find somebody new? On this side? And they're like, kind of... Knight of... Pentacles? Like, not really being as quick as they should be, being a lot slower than what they should be, or even delaying... Um... Some kind of offer, or something of value? A delivery of news, maybe? Uh -huh. Someone might be trying to feel abundance, feel satisfied. This is the Satie, Ten of Cups. Okay. So on this side, with this happiness, with this person who's dealing with interference, feeling stuck within themselves, and not really being honest with their emotions completely, like, oh, they're getting something out of this shit. They're happy. <laughs> they're so happy. 
that they're having like all this is going on in the background and they're getting what they want and they're totally satisfied like look at this all this happiness right here on this side with someone not moving or changing or charging into anything because of this interference we have a lot of baggage a lot of like heavy lifting a burden ten of wands then with this seven of swords we're trying to sneak away they're doing it with some sniff swiftness they are moving with the eight of wands they are going and that's sad Sag sagittarius energy right there that's the drive of y'all someone is empowered someone is going someone is ready and on this side someone's still weighing their options with this whole crossroads thing right and on this side Someone might just be healing, trying to become a queen of wands. It could be you, or it could be a Leo or, or an Aries, Sagittarius. Someone might be trying to be fair as well. And on this side, with this page of wands delivering some news or even traveling, a cycle will not be completed. And that's the case. Like something didn't end correctly with the universe reversed. We'll do three, three, and then three advice, Sagittarius. No! Oh! Mm. Here is a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, someone who was dependent, someone who is. A bit demanding with what she wants from people, like she's kind of snobbish. Her goat tends to headbutt people a lot more than what should be courteous in her courts. She's kind of like a bully a little bit. Maybe she doesn't mean to be, but she's very much stuck on herself. Very prideful in what she has and is doing. Then we got like a judgment call about her, possibly, with the Aeon. And someone started on a new beginning journey with the Fool. And on this side, we have someone starting a new beginning. Some kick charger, maybe even sexual energy. I don't know why that makes me think of sex, but it does. But someone's definitely beginning on something brand new. And they're charging in with a victory. This is Cancer card or Cancer energy. Like, they are geared up and ready to go. They are excited. Oh, this is such a happy side. Like, even though this one, I don't know, it doesn't feel that bad either. But it feels like this side is especially happy. Oh, that one just flew. Oh, and there it is again. Absolute abundance, satisfaction, happiness. This is a good side. I'd go with this side for the most part, Sagittarius, because look at how happy all this is. Look at how grand all this is. This has got the queen over here all in herself. This one's kind of shaky, but it's still in swell too. So this isn't a bad spread at all. At all, I don't think. So like, yeah, three more for advice and then we're done, Sagittarius. We got the Hierophant, the Rule Maker, Taurus Energy. Maybe somebody following some traditions or values. Ooh, I saw like the Ten of Pentacles that didn't show up. Put it right back down. Someone possibly not being as into their feelings as they should be. Or showing them off as much as they should. And someone being disappointed. Or the emotions of disappointment with that. Someone not being as nurturing and trying to be in control of like the established order. There's going to be disappointments with that. <clears throat> so that is yours, Sagittarius. And I will see you guys later. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye.